Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Coleman, Weber's Grilling Expert. We have a lot of exciting things going on in the backyard today. And you can see by our ingredients, today's masterclass topic is how to grill a pizza. So put your cell phones down, don't call for delivery. We're going to give you 10 easy tips on how to grill an amazing pizza on your Weber grill. Now our first step in grilling a pizza is our game plan. We need to pick the dough we're going to use along with all the ingredients. And I'm going to do you a favor because it happened to me the first couple times I've grilled a pizza. I didn't take the dough out of the fridge early enough and it made it extremely difficult to stretch out. So take that out about an hour before you're going to use it. Now our second tip is inventorying our barbecue grill. And if you're noticing debris on the inside, clean all that out. We want as much air circulation going on as possible. In addition, this is a good time to start getting all the accessories and tools that we're going to need for grilling our pizza. Let's focus on barbecuing today. Things are getting exciting here in the backyard. We're headed to tip number three, which is setting up our grill for direct medium heat. We're going to get the charcoal started, and once it's completely ashed over, we're going to spread that evenly across the charcoal grate. Then place your cooking grate inside the grill, close the lid, open the dampers, and let's begin the preheat process. We got our grill preheating. We're now on to tip number five, which is getting our pizza dough ready for the grill. This is when you're going to want to start stretching out your dough and you're going to work from the center outwards in a fanning motion. Here we're using a pizza paddle. If you're using one of these, put a little bit of cornmeal down first. This will give it a little bit of grit and make it easier to transfer to your cooking grates. If you don't have a paddle, you can always use tin foil or parchment paper. If you're going to use foil, just put a little bit of olive oil down first. This will help make it easier for it to stretch out. We got our pizza dough ready, and now that takes us to tip number six. We need to clean our cooking grates. We've got our grill preheated for about 10 to 15 minutes. The reason why we need clean grates is we want to make sure that the pizza dough does not stick to them. Now if you're concerned about the pizza dough sticking to the grates or want to enhance the flavor, you can always coat the dough with a little bit of olive oil. We got our grates clean, our pizza dough stretched, so let's start grilling our pizza. We got our pizza on and our lid closed, and we know looking ain't cooking. Now comes the easy part. Set your timer to three to four minutes and wait for the pizza to cook on that one side. Our timer just went off, which takes us to tip number eight. We're not gonna flip the pizza. We're gonna take it off of the grill, place it on our cutting board, and begin to put our ingredients on it. Make sure that the grill marks are facing up at you. If you notice the pizza dough sticking to the grates, close the lid and let it cook for another 30 seconds to a minute. We've got our pizza off, which brings us to tip number nine, building your own pizza. And I myself love a lot of ingredients. We got our pizza built, now it's time to put it back on the grill. Just remember, set a timer for three to four minutes and let's get those lids closed. We've got our pizza off the grill, which takes us to tip number 10, and that's letting our food rest. And that should always be about 30 to 40% of the total cook time. Now one extra tip I can give you. If you're looking to take your grilled pizzas to another level, try grilling the vegetables and sausage before you actually put that on your pizza. Now there's nothing better than a great grilled pizza, especially on your Weber. And hopefully these 10 tips have inspired you to grill your next pizza. If you have any other questions, you can find us here on Weber.com, refer to your owner's manual, or call our customer service at 1-800-446-1071. And always, happy grilling.